on a second. I'll be right there. I got to make this TV show. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Today, we're going to be talking about Kafka S3, writing data from Kafka to S3, reading data from S3 back to Kafka. And we're going to do it in a couple of different ways. We're going to do it with the Confluent platform, and we're going to do it with plain old Apache Kafka. So this first video... I'm going to go through the Confluent platform. And before we get started, just a couple of things to know. One, this screen, this TV show is meant to be accompanied by a written blog post. And I'll try to post the link to that blog post right here if that ends up working. Um, the blog post will say all the tasks or all the steps that I'm going to go through here in the screencast in case you'd like to do it in your environment as well. Either way, it's up to you. As I said, we're going to go through a few of these examples. We're going to start with having data in Kafka writing to S3. We'll do that in the Confluent platform. So let's take a look at where we are and what we need to do. One, I've already got Confluent installed, expanded locally, and I've got my path updated. So I'm going to start that here, Confluent local start. And while this is starting up, let's just cover a few things that you'll need to know or how this is hopefully going to work. Um, next, I have uh, I have the Kafka Connect Sync Connector already available here. So under Share Java, maybe if that I can highlight that a little bit more, we've got Connect S3. That's our sync connector, so we're all ready to go. Plugins path has already been updated for that. Um, we have got a bucket in S3 created here. So that bucket is called Kafka Connect Example. And just to show you that it's totally empty, I'll refresh this and you can see that it's empty. The way we're going to be authorizing to S3 when we run through these examples is through our AWS credentials file. You might be wondering, what's that? Well, I've got a link in the blog post that talks about how this credentials file is used and the order in which it's processed. Check that out if you want to know the details of it more. The way we can test that your credentials file is working before we do this example is in the following. If I run from command line, AWS S3 LS and then the bucket Kafka Connect example, fancy name by the way, right? I know my credentials file is working if I've got the ability to list any files there. And as we expect it, it's empty. This file is here in off my root directory AWS credentials. The link's there. You can set that up. I recommend you have this set up and working before you even run through the examples. Another thing, um, when we run these examples today, the Confluent is up now. Let's take a look at if there's any topics. What our source topic is going to be is not here yet. So we need some data in Kafka to write to S3. The data we're going to use is from a previous tutorial. Um, a tutorial that I wrote around using Kafka and MySQL. That is available also from the blog post. It's here and I'll link to it in case you want to run that as your source data. Okay, so let's go through the connectors. First of all, the connector is already available to us. I've copied it over, S3 Sync Properties. And I've got it configured for things like what bucket name I want to write to um, and what our source topics will be. That will be that MySQL, one of the tables, one of the tables. Now, later on in this TV show slash tutorial, we're going to show how to run multiple tables as source. But this first example, we're going to just use one table and write that out to S3. This sample file is available from the S3 GitHub repository. Again, I have this linked in the blog post as well. So we're, we're setting things up here, and I think we're ready to go. I've copied over this file. I've got it configured. Let's start it up so we can um, have this ready to go. 
when uh, we have data flowing through. So I'm going to start this up here. Confluent local load. Started up successfully and now we're running. But we need some source data. Um, so let's start the MySQL source example. I have that properties file here as well. That's also available off this GitHub repository. I've got it configured to point to a local running uh, MySQL instance. Again, see that tutorial. So I'm going to start that up. And now, after starting it up, what we should see is some tables in Kafka. If this is a demo that's working appropriately, we'll see some MySQL topics here. So take your sweet time, and there we go. So we've got these tables that are now presumably full of data. And if we go over to our S console, S3 management console, and if I refresh, we should see some data there. And we do. We've got a topics bucket, and we've got some data being written out to S3. So cool. That's our first example. Kafka to S3 with Confluent. Again, for all the details, follow that link. I hopefully posted it here, um, or it should be available wherever you're watching this TV show. And uh, next up, We'll do it the same thing, but we'll go through it with Apache Kafka, not Confluent Platform. So see you then.